please don't kill me optic 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 a few minutes later these are six hundred dollar boxes panini what the f are we doing here <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Run Good Life coming at you with a brand new video and today we have one of the biggest box battles that we've ever done on the channel. Uh, in my quest of doing every optic configuration this year, we've arrived at optic choice. This is the one that I've been excited about. This is the one that I have been worried about. I do not have a problem. I, I enjoy gambling. These little boxes with six cards in them, with one autograph in them, coming in at about $625 per box. Uh, yes, we're paying about $105 a card. Oh boy, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Uh, so, this is our box battle week. Uh, myself and my buddy, my local friend John, we've been battling. We started off with triple threads, and now we've arrived at Optic Choice. We have one more battle for you guys. Coming up later this week, that will be another baseball product, high-end baseball product at that. But I want to thank you for joining me today. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. And you're going to want to do both because today we have a little giveaway. It's not quite the $600 Optic Choice box, but I am going to give away an Optic Blaster to somebody in the comment section. So in order to enter, you got to be subscribed to the channel. you got to like the video, of course. And then you also have to leave a comment. I want to know who you think the two teams in the NBA Finals are going to be this year. I know we're early in the season. I know the Warriors are looking good. I know uh, I know it's it's just early. So, I, I, you know, a lot, a lot can happen between now and the playoffs. Let me know who you think is going to represent the East. Let me know who you think is going to represent the West. You don't even have to pick a winner. I just want to know who you think is going to be in the NBA Finals. Uh, extra credit if you pick the winner, I guess. Um, so... Optic Choice. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, these little boxes have all of the choice parallels, everything from uh, the dr green drag or er, the uh, choice red and green. The dragons as well look very sick. Uh, the big chases in these are the black golds numbered to eight and the nebula 101s, uh, which are insane. Never ever have I pulled a nebula. I've pulled a couple black golds. Uh, never have I pulled a nebula. Uh, we are going to get one autograph per box, and then everything else will be a parallel. No base cards in here. Uh, I won yesterday's battle, so I'm going to be on the left. I'm going to kick things off. John is going to be on the right and going to be the closer in this one. So, oh boy, here we go. Optic choice. Oh, boy. Um, so, we are quickly running out of configurations of optic i wanted to do every single configuration on the channel we still have retail boxes to do and then we still have optic Timo, and that will put a bow tie on every configuration of optic this year on the channel i can't believe we got that done you're a moron this whole trip has been a complete waste of time uh we've done fast break we've done h2 we've done hobby we've done all the retail formats uh, the only one that we have yet to do is this bad boy, and also Timo, which just recently came out, and then uh, Retail Boxes, which I do have some of those coming. Alright, alright. No pressure. No pressure. Here we go. Six cards. Uh, so, auto in the center. All right, we're going to kick things off with my dude, P.J. Washington. Um, We got our parallels. Let's go ahead. Our first parallel. Oh, okay, okay, for the PC. Alexi Pokashevsky for the PC on the red. I'll take that. Uh, going to be numbered to 88 on the red mojo. Okay, okay, good start. And this is a box battle, so if I need to explain the rules, it's very simple. Best card wins. One card only. Everybody knows the rules. Uh, Pokashevsky for the PC. Beautiful looking card. Um, pretty damn well centered, too. So, great job on that card, Panini. I'll take that. Poku to 88. That's my best Poku by far. Um, before we get to this auto, let's go ahead and look at what's behind it. Uh, we have a couple Mojo parallels. Both rookies, Xavier Tillman and King Kong Okongwu. I think it'll be a fast video. Uh, these are not numbered. 
And I would imagine LaMelo probably a redemption in these, like he is with everything else. Um, so we'll take those. Uh, and our auto, here we go. <sighs> big big card right here. Um, I like the Poku, but I think an auto, a good auto would help. A good auto would help. Holy sh! Are you serious, Panini? I did not expect to see a signature series Sterling Brown. That's a kick in the balls. Huge kick in the balls. I mean, I did get the Poku, but holy cow, what a kick in the balls, Sterling Brown. I think I'm gonna be sick all over cow. <laughs> Excuse the bad language right there, but that one caught me off guard. Uh, that is a Sterling Brown non-numbered auto from a $600 box. Panini, are we serious right now? Are we serious right now, Panini? Oh my gosh. Uh, Sterling Brown. And there's... I can't believe that's not numbered. Well. And I got two Hornets. I got the Miles Bridges. That is to 88. Not going to factor in because the Poku was my best card. But holy cow, come on, Panini. Can we do a little bit better than a Sterling Brown? Um, so these are my best two cards. Obviously, the Poku going to be best, and that's going to be for the PC for sure. Um, and now we have John's box. So John does have to be a Poku. Not sure what comps on that are, but I think I will probably have to go to eBay and see. I'm not feeling super thrilled. I wish my auto would have been a little bit better. Um, off the top of my head, I'm probably box probably did not get 50% of the value back. I would imagine a Poku to 88, probably somewhere in like the 180, 200 range. All right, John. No, no pressure, John. Good luck, brother. See if you can get the dub and we can go into Friday with each picking up a win. All right. So kicking things off, we have Malcolm Brogdon. Let's go grab the two parallels behind it. Uh, we've got Cassius Winston. And Precious Achua. So, Precious, that's about as good as my two with King Kong and Bane. Uh, all right. So, he also has two reds. So, neither of us got the got the very cool, uh, anything cool. No nebulas, no uh, black golds. Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, looks like maybe Pistons. Saban Lee. Okay, so I think... As of right now, depending on whatever this auto is, uh, I am currently winning this battle. Um, but whatever this auto is, this is going to be the make or break. And I'm going to be honest, I think this is a private signings auto. So this is, oh boy, not the video I expected. All right, his auto, let's go ahead and flip it. Holy sh**. <laughs> Nico Mannion on the private signings auto. These are $600 boxes, Panini. What the f are we doing here? I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm sorry. Excuse my language, but we just both got smoked. Uh, no winner in this battle. We just both got smoked in this battle. <laughs> Holy f I'm sorry. I don't really don't swear in these videos, but that was comically bad. That was comically bad. I do not feel good about taking this win. That was a joke. Holy cow. I mean, I got the Poku for the PC, but I think this card is going to comp at under 200 bucks. And John, I I feel horrible for this box. Uh his best card not even going to be an auto either. His best card is going to be Saban Lee to 88. Uh, that is going to be 72 of 88. But, oh boy, that was rough. Uh, that was, I expected one of us to get a good box. I did not expect that. I am, honestly, I'm a little shell-shocked. I'm not going to lie. Right now, for $600 a box, I know that this product can be absolutely brutal. I have watched cases and cases of prism uh, choice this year and I know that that can be a brutal product but these were two of the most brutal boxes of choice uh, and typically typically when you open two boxes of choice one is significantly better than the other it is just tough to get 
you know, I thought my box was below average, uh, maybe exactly at average with the Poku. Um, but man, John, I'm sorry. They picked us horrible boxes. Uh, Nico Mannion, private signings, non-numbered, and Saban Lee to 88. Best hit in the video, picking up the win, and I don't feel like a winner because I think we both lost our a** on this one. Uh, Poku to 88 for the PC. Um, man, that one was rough. That one was rough. That was uh, not the box battle that I wanted to present on YouTube today. But hey, if anything, I think this is a great video of what you're getting yourself into if you decide to rip a $600 plus box of Optic Choice. I probably would have just went with a hobby box uh, had I known either of these boxes was going to be that brutal uh, because the hobby boxes are only $100 more. That's going to do it for me today. It looks like somebody is going to get more value out of a blaster box probably than we got out of these choice boxes. So go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know who you think the two teams in the NBA Finals are going to be this year. I'm going to go cry for a little bit. I'm going to go feel really, really bad about this as I edit this video. Uh, so until next time, take care. Be, what, what do I even say? Uh, until next time, just don't rip optic choice. Just, just learn from us. Catch you tomorrow.